Good afternoon. Sorry I'm a little bit late, I apologize. Um, well, we looking forward to being at home. Uh, we just came off a weekend. We had a good weekend against or out at Creighton out in Omaha. Uh, I felt good about the way we played. Certainly we dropped a couple sets against some good teams, but um, I thought that those teams stepped up and they played well and we could have we maybe got a little bit loose, but uh, all in all, if you look at our performance from the weekend, I thought going 3 0 was great, obviously, but the way we performed and the things that we were doing and the adjustments that we made and the things we've added, I thought were great. But we are looking forward to being home, being back at Huff. Uh, you know, it's an exciting place, and when it's rocking, it's got to be the loudest place in the country. It's got to be one of the more exciting venues to be a part of, and I think we've missed that. It feels like it's been months since we played in that, in that arena, and so um, really looking forward to that. Uh, we get to play. Just kind of strange to say, but we're playing Rutgers in Maryland, which means you know it's the Big Ten match. It feels like the Big East, Big um, ACC matches, but um, we gotta get used to that. I think it's gonna be uh, it's different for our girls, even as we're talking about. They, you know, they still. I don't think we've got our heads wrapped around those guys being in the conference, but it'll be fun to welcome them into the Big Ten. That's what I got. Do you have any questions for me? I know players obviously change teams. You gotta prepare for each team. But what's it like to with these programs who you haven't seen as closely as some of the other Big Ten? Yeah, we're starting from scratch, and you have a good sense of what coaches do usually. I mean, even though they all have their systems, and um, we get, we're fortunate we get every match that they've played thus far. We have open sharing with all the video, and so right now we're trying to get our heads wrapped around what they are and what they're trying to accomplish. You know, you, you play Penn State, you have an idea of what they're how they're trying to play, and you play Wisconsin, you have a good idea. These guys, we have none, so um, it'll be a little bit of a kind of a work in progress for us as far as, as, far as trying to figure out their systems, but. It comes down to the players at the end of it too, just how, what, what players execute. And against most teams, if we execute the way that we feel like we can, then we should be fine against just about any team in the country, and that will be our main focus. But certainly, um, things that we're going to struggle stopping, it's going to take us a while to get our heads wrapped around those teams. What, what have you learned about your team during your difficult non-conference schedule so far? Yeah, I, I think we've learned a ton, more than you, we want to spend on this press conference. But I think the things that we when we have balance offensively, we're, we're really tough to stop. And we've put up some numbers that we haven't put up in my time. We've been, we've been defensive oriented. And, and sometimes I mean, it's because we had to be. We had to grind it out. And I feel like we can do both now. We can, we can play some great defense. Maybe it could be one of my best defensive teams because of the physicality. But offensively, right now, it's for sure the best offensive team I've had. And the numbers, well, I think we'll show more as we get into the Big Ten as we really start to steady out. But I really like what we can bring them. You know both both of those aspects. You don't always have that. Usually, you have great defensive teams or great offensive teams, and I think it's a shot to compete against everybody, which is exciting. How's Morgan playing? Morgan's played great. She's had a couple this weekend. She had a rough match or two, and uh, in the past, we've kind of we would just have to write it out and see. We're fortunate. We have some kids that are our young kids that came in and played for her and did a nice job. But she's been our leading hitting efficiency outside for most of the, for the pre-conference, and um, that usually was Jocelyn that had that number at Burks and. She's actually out hitting her right now, which has been a good sign for us moving forward. When she's good, we're really, really good because she's so good offensively. With Rutgers <coughs> excuse me, and Maryland, um, you mentioned the conference is a defensive conference. That's kind of the identity. Do they fit into that, or um, do you really not know yet? It's hard to say. I I've watched one match thus far. We just got all the stuff uh, last night, and so I watched one match of each. Um, it's hard to say. You know, the, the, one of the coaches, the coach from Maryland was at Penn State last year as an assistant. So he's still trying to get his system in place with those guys. And I, I, would, I would be surprised if they don't have more of a Big Ten mentality, where the ACC is very much, is much more offensive. So it's hard to say.